Welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of Traffic Guys' Weekly Webinar. Uh, this week we have special guests, Jody Underhill and Eric Curran. Hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Great, doing wonderful. Doing great. Glad to be Super. here. Happy to Thanks. be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us this week. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, every, every week we try to have... Uh, uh, somebody that most all of our uh, our listeners uh, are can recognize with. Uh, last week we had uh, Lemoyne on, uh, and got pretty good uh, uh, reviews from that. And hopefully we'll do the same with this week. Uh, everybody, everybody has a, a different perspective when it comes to our business, and uh, so it uh, kind of uh, gives people a different point of view, different uh, avenues that they can. Uh, Test uh, because I'm sure you and uh, you guys don't uh, don't do the exact same thing that that uh, Lemoyne does or any of the other speakers that we've had on. So uh, just want to welcome you guys. Thank you for for uh, joining us this week. And you guys doing what three plus right with us? Three plus. Years? Sorry, yeah. Hey, could you do me a favor, Robin? What's could that? you move that? Could you move that cursor off my double chin? There you go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Pointed to put it on air. It looks Eric. like you give some fortunes. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, you guys started with us uh, before 1.0, right? Um, yeah, it was actually right about the time that 1.0 got ready to roll out. It was just before that. We, we whenever we kind of came when we when we found Traffic Geyser, and then 1.0. Actually, it was before Firepower. Even it was right about the time before Firepower actually came out. So about about the same time as uh, as uh, Fireman Mike then. Yep. Yeah, right on. And you guys uh, actually, if I remember the story correctly, you've actually got a couple of stories uh, <laughs> with our events, Jody. But uh, uh, you guys met at our first our, at one of our events, right? No, actually, um, it sounds kind of like that. But we actually met at a networking event in Florida. But um, when we talk about meeting an event, people jump to the assume it was at a at a, at a, a traffic guys or event. But we actually, um, Eric and I met at a networking event. It was my wife that I met at a traffic geyser event. That, that, that was that was going to be my next one, absolutely. Right. But you could have actually played along and said, "Yeah, absolutely, we met at your first event." Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to give you a break on that. Whenever you get us a rap video, then I'll get cut you some slack. <laughs> well, if, if, if those of you that are listening, if you weren't on the call last week, uh, uh, most of you know that uh, Mike Lemoyne has a rap video that Haley did for him uh, for. Main Street 1.0, and uh, I looked far and near for any video or any music to uh, intro, use as an intro for Jody and Eric, and I couldn't find one. And they claimed that I didn't look very hard. No, they claimed that they never made one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Robin, is there anything you can do to adjust the audio? It still sounds really like really distant. Mm, Sorry. That's okay. Is that even better? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Okay. Sorry about that, folks. It's, it's, uh, it sounds a little groggly. Yeah, it's uh, still going in and out, actually. Okay. Maybe I'll just sit closer to my computer. Uh, and everybody, Meredith? Yeah. Hello, Meredith. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Good. Good. Okay. So, uh, you guys... Jody and Eric, you guys, uh, you don't just you don't just do social media marketing. But that's one of the things that you specialize in, right? Yeah, if you look at the name of our company, it's you know it's upside down iceberg social media marketing because when we first started, that's all we did. The only thing we did was social media marketing, and but part of that is you know people a lot of times don't think of video marketing as being social media marketing, but you know it actually is because you know, YouTube is one of the it can be used as a social media site. You can have subscribers and friends, so. When we when we talk about social media, it's um, you know videos, articles, Facebook, and Twitter. So when we first started, that's all we did, and that's really what we built our business on right out of the gate. And when you know, if somebody wanted a website, and you know, we don't do that. If they wanted something else, we don't do that. They, we you know we focused specifically on that when we first started. Now, obviously, our business has grown and expanded into many other things, but that's that's what we were that's what we built the foundation of our business was on social media. Right on. Want to add anything to that, Eric? Exactly what we did. <laughs> I'll add that. How you like that? 
<laughs> That's beautiful. Perfect. Hopefully there will be more uh, more of that to come during this call. Yes. <laughs> we'll try to we'll try to get over being shy here in a little bit. Yeah. Right. You get shy. Uh, okay, folks. If you are on the call, as always, we have our replays available uh, for both the Traffic Geyser uh, webinars as well as the Instant Customer webinars. They're available on our blog site, which is traffickeyser.com forward slash TT blog. And Meredith is probably typing that into the uh, chat window as we speak. Uh, we got Eric and uh, I'm, we got Eric and Jody here for uh, for 45, 50 minutes, whatever the whatever the time frame is. So make sure that you guys make use of the question box. Ask as many questions as you want. We're going to go through, uh, I think, six or seven questions that were mailed in to us, emailed to me. Uh, plus, we have our very first video question, and we'll see how our uh, how our crack our crack uh, production uh, team uh, puts that into this presentation. See how see how seamless they do that, even though I am the crack production team. So this week's shout out, uh, and matter of fact, this is the gentleman that has the uh, the video question. But uh, Todd Johnson is from Houston. He's been with Trafficizer since 1.0, so two plus years. And like a lot of you that are probably on this call, he hasn't spent very much time at all using our tools, using our services. And I'm going, to, I'm going to stop there for a second and just ask Jody and Eric, do you guys find that a lot uh, uh, where somebody has a tool that they've paid, in some cases, good money for and they just don't even use it? Yeah, of course. I mean, it happens more than it should. I mean, a lot of people, they buy the tools, they look at it, they, they want, they're going to eventually, going to, I'm going to use that, eventually I'm going to start doing that, I'm going to step out and do that. and. And they, they look at it as, you know, it's like, oh, if I do this, and they don't treat it like a business, and they don't use the tools. And, and one of the things is uh, the people like Mike Lemoyne that you mentioned and the, you know, us, with the people that are successful in this business, did it, we're successful because we just use the tools. You know, the tools right. work for you. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just like having a combination to a safe. If you have the combination, it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what your education is. If you have the combination, the safe will open. And it's the same thing with this. We we don't have any special magic tools that other people don't have. You know we you know we get the tool we get the tools about the same time the other people that are on this call get them, and we just take them and put them to use. Having a tool yeah. doesn't make you successful. Using the tools will make <laughs> you successful. Exactly, exactly. And and we get we get this all day long. And this is one of the main reasons I, I've gotten. Uh, I think five or six different folks that emailed me this week uh, with their uh, their success story, uh, and a lot of them are just like Todd. He's he's been with Trafficizer for two plus years, just didn't do anything with it. He uh, he spoke to a group of uh, uh, he spoke to a company through his regular day job, and they were needing some help. And he said, "Hey, well, how about I could help you? This is what I could do for you, so on and so forth." This was in December. He he talked to him two or three times, and then he, he didn't hear back from him, so he left it alone. Uh, a couple weeks ago, he emailed them, uh, or called them rather, and said, "Hey, uh, just follow up with you guys, see where you're at." And he, he he just thought that the dollar figure that he gave them was just way too much. And when he when he got him on the phone, boom, it was just a one shot thing. Hey, I'm glad you called. We've been waiting to hear from you. We want to get this done. He ended up. Uh, Mailing uh, a local business, local uh, business phone system company, uh, got a, a it, and it's only a two month deal. He's got fifty five hundred bucks, two thousand of it up front. He's uh, he's building them a website. He's uh, doing I think two uh, two submissions, two video submissions, and two article submissions. He's doing a twenty minute podcast, and he's setting up uh, their social media sites for fifty five hundred bucks. Robin, the audio okay. is still cutting out, and it's hard to hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. It's not your fault. Uh, so two, two months worth of, uh, worth of work with this company. He's getting $5,500 from him. He's already got 2000 of it uh, in his pocket or in his account. And like I said, he's, he's doing a, a website. He's setting up the customer campaign. He's uh, going to do a 10 by 10 by 4, and he's doing video uh, and article distribution. It's 500 that's bucks. You can, and you can, and 
you, whenever the first time you ask for that, it's a little it's a little scary. But the second time, it's a whole lot easier after the first one says yes, and then it becomes what yeah yeah it just and and you can really for what he's doing for that you can you should be able to just about anywhere you are you should be able to get that all day long. All day long, right? And how much how much time is he going to spend of his? Uh, he's, he's and he's outsourcing the uh, the the website, so he's he's only doing the stuff that's going to be done uh, directly through his customer and uh, and his fusion account. So how much time is he really going to spend doing uh, his, uh, 20, 24 videos and uh, and four uh, article and video distributions? Yeah, if he does all of that himself, which I, I, he probably isn't going to do all of that because the articles he's probably going to outs maybe outsource that too. But right. let's say let's put let's stretch it and say that he spends five days, which would be terrible for making five thousand dollars. But in reality, probably more like two and a half to three full days, and that's about it. Exactly. Exactly. So he he was absolutely ecstatic when he uh, when he talked to them. Uh, he sent me he sent me a copy of the contract. He sent me uh, uh, a video, uh, and I'm gonna part of the video is the question that he's asking for today. But uh, it was just the the same 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 story uh, that most of our uh, traffic advisor users uh, uh, are dealing with. They just can't get started. Once they do get started, uh, and they get like like uh, you said, Jody, once they get that first yes, bam, it, they're off to the races. So. Uh, Todd, congratulations, buddy. I, I, uh, he's actually in Vegas right now, so he's not able to hear us, but uh, he'll play the replay, and uh, he'll give a little shout-out. So, uh, Todd, good job, bud. So, uh, for those of you that are on the call, and, and you guys, Jody and Eric, we've got uh, Fusion members, we've got Traffic Guys members, as well as we've got uh, folks that have inquired into Traffic Guys or that have not yet made the decision to try our services. Uh, just so you guys know who, you, who you're going to be uh, talking to today. But uh, for those of you that are on the call that are not current members of Traffic Geyser, uh, 21 days for a buck. Can't beat it. Uh, like like LeBoyne said last week, this is how he started out. Uh, he spent the dollar. He went all out. Spent the dollar, did, did his trial, and he is where he is today. Did you guys do the trial too when you started? Of course we did. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we took the dollar trial. Now, I got yeah. To be candid with you, um, it, it's pretty much uh, a, a gimme that we, we we took the dollar trial because uh, I'm not sure what the full full uh, full blown thing was. But um, if there's any chance that it was anything other than a dollar. Uh, and we could have used the one dollar. There's no shot that Jody would have let me pay the full cost. Although I probably would have tried that. So Jody would have said, "Eric, dollar, good, take the dollar." And, no. and I, I gotta tell you, I, I'm pretty uh, fired up that we did because, um, you know, uh, you know what we, what we did was we made videos, and that was the first thing that we ever did. Is got went out there, we put the videos. We I when we started out, we were like, we didn't know, we didn't even know what to do. We went out there and we're like, well, let's post on YouTube. You know, it's a. We knew this fact. We knew no, YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. We had this like nugget of information. Hey, 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 right? hey! Don't tell everybody our stuff up front, man. <laughs> we had this like secret underground nugget of information, <clears throat> and actually, some people are saying that it's more valuable than um, than Google because uh, you know, videos can show up on Google, but you know. Google's don't show up on YouTube, right? So we're yeah. like, this this is cool, and so what what we did is we we took videos and then we put videos and then we 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 learned that hey, you know what? If you take a video and you put it on, you could take video and put it on more than just one video sharing site, and and that's like legal to do. And we're like, oh, this is awesome, right? So we took it and we put it on all the video sharing sites, and we didn't have to take our time to do it. You just put it in one and you could put it in all these video sharing sites. We're like, I like this, right? What a concept, and you, huh? Right? And then and you don't have to do it yourself. You, you put it in and you push the button. And um, I'm kind of like lazy. If I don't have to do it for a dollar, I'm in, right? Um, I'd do it for a hundred bucks, but Jody made me do it for like a dollar, right? So right. I'm in, right? And then um, it, it bookmarks it for you, so it tells all the other sites that you're there. And we were getting all these, okay, we were getting all of these videos ranked for all of our 
uh, search terms for us and all of our clients. And it was going really, really quickly. And that's how we got our name in this and in the industry because we can get videos ranked really quickly for people. And that's actually how we got started because we spent a dollar, even though I would have spent more, but Jody wouldn't let me, um, by checking the trial. And as a matter of fact, I think it was actually. I think we only paid for traffic geyser for what, like, a, the, when we transferred from the dollar to, oh, no, we got to pay us, like, was it $99? It was about bucks. 97 bucks. It was, a, like, it was within that first month, so I think, that Firepower came out, and we were ecstatic that we could we could buy that, and we could get, I think at the time, it was, like, half a million uploads, because we were, we, we were pushing the okay. limit on how many uploads. <laughs> y'all want to know a secret? Can we tell, I'm going to tell you all a secret, and it's not going to make everyone look great, but it's just, the way, it's just the way it is, okay? And so we got Firepower, and for people who are on the call may not know what Firepower is, it was like the first product that we knew of ever in internet marketing land, right? And it had all these, like, super cool things that came with Firepower. It had, like, a billion, like, um, uh, one, like, uh, what are they? Ch chiropractic books and and books for every before. industry and all these different things. But it also came with half a million uploads, and we didn't even know it had all these other things. We were just like, "Hey, half a million uploads, awesome!" Well, somehow. Wait, 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 let, me, when you, let me stop you for a second. When you say uploads, you're talking about submission credits, right? Submission yes. credits. Submission and that credit. means for don't want to confuse the listeners. So okay. if, you're, if you're a listener and don't know what that means, if, if for every time that you have a video and you want to put it on YouTube or Vimeo or Vidler or, or any of the different uh, sites, it, it's like a, a credit. And we had half a million credits. And we're like, this is the best thing ever. And it came with all these bajillion other things. But somehow we didn't get the, the, the link to all the other things that we didn't even care. We didn't even know. We, we missed all the stuff that we paid for, and we, we had half a million credits, and we were, like, happy as everything. And um, it was, like, the best thing ever, and we were getting all these things. And all of a sudden, we saw Fireman Mike, and he's, like, speaking at this stage, and he's – who's this, like – guy that they get they that fire that, that uh, traffic guys are loves and gets all these things too and he's up there going <laughs> and I got all this stuff and I and we're like what's all this stuff he's got what is he talking about and all of a sudden we find out that there's all these really cool stuff that we could also use we can't even find because we didn't have the button that the, all, the cool button that's got all the cool stuff in it right for like four months till we bought the next program that goes you also get all the firepower stuff We're like what firepower stuff we just got the half a million uploads <laughs> so you're we were happy me. now was that the biz box stuff that you're talking yeah. about we didn't get the biz box stuff there the you go stuff. excuse us for not knowing what to call it because we Sorry. didn't have it that's okay. <laughs> we didn't have it so they didn't know what the terminology was yeah right. we didn't know what to call what we didn't have <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, Eric, you brought up uh, YouTube, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, move on in a second. But we get so many folks uh, that they they want to submit to YouTube manually on their own, and then use our submission tools uh, for all of their other submissions, Sub submitting to all the other video sites, the bookmark sites, and uh, uh, the status sites. And I try to explain to them why it's so important to make sure that you're doing all of your submissions, including YouTube, through your Trafficizer or through your Fusion account. Uh, how can you can you explain how important that is? Okay, yeah, we can. Jo is, it, is, it, is that still the case, Jody? That yes. They, okay, so yep. you want to explain? Or I can do it. Um, what happens is the bookmarking sites. Um, which gives all the credits and all the point backs uh, go off of when you upload to YouTube or any of the video sharing sites, but particularly off of YouTube, the way Traffic Geyser is set up is when they bookmark the sites and, and to all the bookmarking accounts, it goes off of your the submission, the initial submission to YouTube and it says, hey, look at this video that we put on YouTube. But if you don't submit the initial one from YouTube, it doesn't know where to point it to, and that could be problematic. Yeah, so, you gotta have a link to bookmark. Right. So right. if you don't if you don't send your initial one from YouTube, then that's then that's a problem. So you you, you the first one has to go off YouTube, particularly um, 
and that's where you get all your credits from. So you have to send it up to YouTube. So th yeah, that's yeah. And then you can go back and change the um into YouTube and put a um description in or change whatever. You can't change your tags, to... change your description, edit whatever you want to edit inside YouTube once the video is there. Yeah, I had to say it like that just so you can come in and make sure if I'm if I'm not correct, <laughs> you just go back in there. I just want to make sure that was right, right? Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, you have to do the initial one off of YouTube. So um, and that's just the way that it's set up through the, the ways that they do that. And, and, and that helps with the ranking of the video uh, with the search engines. Absolutely, because if you think about it, what are the search engines looking for to rank it? It's the relevancy of well, who else says that this is important. Whenever right. that you have all those bookmarks out there pointing to that video, Google goes, oh, look at all these places pointing to it. People have bookmarked this. They really like this. Let's move it up so other people can find it. Maybe they'll find it interesting too. And it's really just about that simple. It is. It really is. And, and just for the record, uh, for those of you that are listening, and even for you guys, uh, the, there's two video sharing sites that we submit to. Uh, with links to the bookmark and the status sites, and that's YouTube, as you guys uh, clearly stated, and Daily Motion. So if you do not submit to YouTube and Daily Motion in your video sharing section, you will not be able to select the bookmark and then the share or the status sites because of the fact that you're not submitting to uh, one of the sites that are uh, that these other sites are dependent on. So with that being said. Those of you that are not on, uh, not part of uh, Traffic Guys right now, 21 days, all the buck, uh, give it a shot. Use it. Don't just use it once and say, ah, it didn't work for me, and uh, let your 21 days run out. Use it as much as you can. There is, uh, there's so much uh, benefit. So you benefit so much from it by uh, using it. And using it and using it, getting as much of your content, whether it's article or video or blog, uh, getting your content out in the mass uh, is going to benefit you so much more than just submitting one video and and being done with it. You know, if you go and if you join a gym and you go to the gym and you go one time, you're going to get really no value out of the the gym you have 21 day trial so if you're going to go out there go out every go every day for those 21 days and and really utilize it and see what kind of value you can get during it's a dollar i mean i if you're on here and and you you should really um assume you have a dollar right so go out there test it out and see what kind of results you can get uh i mean and do it every day and see it's a dollar dude it's a dollar dude absolutely Agree with you 100. percent Yes. Uh, use the use the uh, the question window. Uh, ask as many questions as you want. We will go through our FAQs uh, uh, in a little while, and then after that, we will have a, a Q and A session. That any questions that you guys are asking, uh, Jody and Eric will be more than happy to answer, as as well as me, if I feel like it. But they're the guests, so I let them answer. Uh, questions. Uh, that you ask here, questions that you ask in a support ticket through our uh, support portal in your account. If it's a, uh, a strategic question or something you, you're thinking about wanting to do, uh, go ahead, ask it now. If it starts with can or how, ask it now. If it's a, a question about something that is currently going on with your Trafficizer account, with a, a particular tool within Trafficizer, open up a support ticket. Uh, we're answering them, I, I promise you guys, we're answering them within an hour of receiving them. Uh, maybe an hour and a half, but uh, uh, we're answering them as, as soon as we get them now. We're, uh, we're on it. Uh, you, you guys will be happy. Uh, you, sh we, you should be happy uh, that you are getting the answers as you are. Hopefully you are. Uh, but use the, use the support portal, use the knowledge base uh, to, to Check for your question uh, or your answer, rather. Um, a lot of a lot of the answers are are right there for you. We we are continually updating our knowledge base uh, on a daily basis. Uh, Lori and, and the team are uh, adding as many questions to the knowledge base so that you don't have to open a ticket and you will have your answer right away, rather than waiting even that hour hour and a half for the answer. So, with that being said. Uh, what are we going to benefit from today, or what are you guys going to benefit from today? Well, you're going to get to, as we've already heard, you're going to get to hear from uh, two of our uh, traffic guys, just top all stars. 
again, they've I been with us for felt that wrong. I think it should be our two top all stars. You want me to change it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know how Lemoyne would feel about that. I don't know how uh, Jimmy would feel about that. You know how uh, they do that? We have to check with Lemoyne first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna he's gonna email me and give me grief. All right. So I got to take it either way, I guess, right? All right. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Uh, why social media? Uh, social media marketing is so important uh, in our industry today. Uh, so we're going to learn a lot. Uh, and then, of course, whoops, of course, our FAQs for this week. Uh, strategies and tips. Um, and I, I put this in here because of the fact that uh, I, I tend to ask basically the same questions every week to whoever the guest speaker or speakers are. And uh, again, that's because different folks have different perspectives of things. Uh, and not to mention, we've got listeners that are uh, marketers that are using Fusion. Uh, we've got uh, uh, listeners that are uh, brick and mortar business owners, and they're just getting traffic guys to uh, uh, to market their own company. So uh, l let's start off with uh, uh, I'm, I've got a I've got a uh, I don't know a dog grooming company uh, that I just opened up, and I'm looking to. Uh, get found. Uh, obviously, I need business. So, what I, I come to you guys. What am I going to be told by you guys that is going to uh, help me right from the get-go uh, with marketing my business? Uh, the the first thing is we would ask you what you're currently doing to market your business. If you're a dog grooming business, and you know, what are the how are you currently finding your clients? And, okay. you know, and typically, you know, a lot of times, you know, new businesses, the first things they think of is, well, I, you know, I've gone to I've gone to you know to to networking events. I have a, an ad in the yellow pages, and I'm running ads in the newspaper. I'm like, okay, so basically, what you're doing uh, whenever you're running ads in the yellow pages is you know if the, we know that most people don't use those anymore. They use their they use uh, technology in order to search for things. And whenever you run an ad in the newspaper, you're hoping that the people who find your information happen to find it exactly the day they need a dog groomer. So exactly. Would it would it be a benefit in order to have your information in numerous places that people are actively looking for someone to provide them with exactly the service that you offer? And of course, usually their answer is yeah. So I so, said, okay, well, then one of the things that I would suggest is whenever it comes to marketing yourself, building your brand, and, and uh, having people helping people find your company, is coming up with an overall strategy for marketing your business. And it's not just, hey, have a website, because even if you have a great website, it's still only one place to online to be found. Having a website is absolutely crucial, but the other things you want to look at is where else are people looking for information that, you know, about your services or about you're looking for a dog groomer. Uh, do you think that the dog owners or pet owners may have questions that they may look for answers for uh, when they go on Google? That happens to be if you can answer questions about the care of their of their dog, that then they see you as a as the, an expert in your in your industry, and then look at what else you may be able to offer them, and I you know thus being your dog grooming services. So, you know, putting information, putting videos together, answering questions, putting articles together that answer those questions, placing information on social media sites, building you know building out a brand on Facebook building out a brand on Twitter. And they're like, well, why would I need a Twitter account if I do dog grooming? Let me ask you, if you had, if you were looking for a dog groomer and you went online and you found one and you went on their site and they had tabs for Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and then you went to another one that didn't have anything, or even if they did, you went to one that had a thousand people who were following them on Twitter and interacting with them and the other one had 17 people who were following them on Twitter, which one would you lend more credibility to? So when it comes to marketing yourself, building your brand, and getting more exposure for your company, it really takes an overall strategy incorporating all of the aspects of online marketing. That's the short answer. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Absolutely. Uh, and and the, it's the same same theme uh, uh, with everybody that uh, that I ask this question to. Uh, uh, might have a different spin to it, but at the, at the end of the day, it's 
who's who's going to look more relevant, who's going to look uh, more authoritative uh, in whatever that industry may be, uh, or whatever that niche may be. Uh, somebody that that has a, a website and that's it, or somebody that's got a, a, a website and when you Google them, you've you've got five videos and you've got uh, uh, their Facebook and their LinkedIn and their Twitter. Uh, uh, Accounts coming up on the on the Google search, so yes, it's very important. And uh, again, that's the the, the common theme, a common answer that we get. Uh, what else? Uh, and you and you've talked so much about social media. What what about uh, uh, the other content uh, as far as uh, distributing video and article and blogs? How how important is that? Eric, you want to take yeah. that since I jumped all so, over the other one? No. So, how important is it, how important is distributing information? Is that pretty yeah. much video, yeah. social media, yeah. blogs? I mean, the more content you have, the better. Content is critical. Period. Um, so, whether it is whether it's articles, videos, blogs, anything, the more information you have out there, it, you know, it's critical to everything. So, it, and it doesn't matter if you have a local business, a national business, or or you know. It doesn't matter what you're doing. The more information you have is relevant for every single thing that you do. So, and not only that, the more if you're doing um, again a local business, if you're doing search engine, if you're doing anything, you need more content. Not only do you need more content, you need more content. You need more places. You need links back to your sites. So, uh, you need content, and you need it in more places, and you need more links, uh, and you need relevant content. And so, it's it's important for every single thing that you do. You know, Robin, one of the, one of the things that we talk about, you know, whenever you the ten ten four, most people that are on here, if they if they've been around or seen it, that that ten ten four is, you know, there's ten frequently asked questions. You make videos of ten frequently asked questions. Then you make videos of ten uh, questions that people should be asking or mistakes that they make. And then the other four are basically the marketing. They're the the tail the trailer that you put on the end, and then the the thank you video, um, the if you like this, here's where to get more, and then you know the buy my stuff video. The, the thing that we found is FAQs and SAQs are great and people look at them, but then there comes a time whenever there's something, whenever you're shooting those videos, whenever you're looking at that, that the, the question comes up that really resonates with people. And we call those the KAQs. The KAQs. Yep, those are the kick-ass questions. And the kick reason ass. they are is because they wind up getting tons of views. Now, we can't ever tell you exactly which one that's going to be, but as we go through and we do videos and we're listening to the people answer questions, we have questions ourselves that come up. And you know, we've done that. Well, we have a chiropractor that when we're with video with him, it's like, you know, everything you're talking about is great, great information, but it's really about why they should come see you. I have a question. I've always heard if I crack my knuckles that I'm going to get arthritis. You're saying they should come see you every month. You're going to crack their neck and back. Is that, you know, is that? Are they going to get arthritis in their neck and back? It's, oh no, that's a, this called an audible, and it's just a little nitrogen bubble. And you want to said, let's let's do that. What's that cracking sound? What's that popping sound? Um, that video now has over forty thousand views, and that that chiropractor was actually contacted by the Dr. Oz show and talked about their video marketing by you. you know, they talked, you know, asked about that video and how they came up with the concept and the no fact that it's had over forty thousand views. So right on. You know, we have another one. We have a dentist who answered a question: Why do root canals hurt? You know, that video, it's a dentist up in New York, and they it's got thousands of views on that video is why do root canals hurt? Because that's what people want to know. Those are the things. Why do they hurt? And I get right. one that doesn't hurt. So you know, it really comes down to really thinking about what what do people really you know what is it? What are the questions you have? And sometimes those because a lot of times the, they're you know, they are experts at what they do, but they're so close to it they they don't go simple enough with the questions that they answer. So right. I'm really thinking about it, and like with a dentist, you know, what type of toothbrush is best, hard, medium, or soft? Can teeth whitening actually damage your teeth? People want to know answers to questions like that, and it gives you good, it gives you great information to then post on other social media sites, so that within the titles themselves intrigue people to go watch it. People get all caught up in, you know, the in their own industry thinking about all the crazy things that people might ask and nobody wants to know that stuff. They want to know for a chiropractor, you know, what's that popping sound when someone cracks my back? They don't want to know uh, what, what's the vertebral subluxation. They don't want that stuff. They want to know the, 
what are the questions that someone really wants to know about your industry? They, if, if you have to look up what the term means, no one's looking that term up in the first place. Doesn't so, mean anything. Exactly. All right, correct. Uh, you, you, and, and Jody, you, you brought up the 10 by 10 by 4. Uh, for those of you that do not know what it is, this is a, um, a marketing strategy that, uh, that Mike Koenigs uh, developed five, six, seven years ago. Started using it then, it's still being used today, uh, maybe in a, a little bit different uh, form. Uh, because of whoops, there goes my dog. Because of the technology, uh, but uh, we are next week's call is going to be on the 10 by 10 by 4. So uh, we will be sorry about that. We will uh, have a full show next week about uh, the market domination formula that Mike developed. Uh, and actually, you'd mentioned it earlier with um, with your the, the the shout out that you did at the beginning. That's one of the things that the guy was making the fifty five hundred dollars for was doing a ten by ten by four video series for that client. Correct. Exactly. Right. Uh, and and again, the the ten by ten by four is something that is uh, as little as uh, thirty second videos, just uh, quick quick questions. Uh, that are answered, and uh, you got 24 videos that are that are going to get uh, uploaded into a uh, in, into YouTube and all to all the other video sharing sites. And uh, now you're going to get you're going to gain rankings from some of those videos, as well as uh, uh, your landing page or your your uh, your website that you're directing it to. Yeah, and you make a good point with the links. You you really you know, one you know, less than one minute it's fine. You definitely want them to be more than two. Because a lot of people make a decision on if they're going to watch a video or not based on how long it is. Exactly. Because let's face it, if you have a three and a half minute video, people just don't have that much time. That's a lot of that's a lot of lot of time to watch. Exactly, a lot of time to so spend like on a, something that's like that an hour. Not yeah. <laughs> exactly, three minutes, an hour that doesn't matter. Uh, that's a lot of time to spend watching uh, something that that they're not sure if they're uh, they're going to benefit from spending that time watching. Three minutes, so. you could watch a TV show. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, this week's uh, questions, uh, and I'm. I hope I can do this right. Uh, I have not done a. I have not done a, uh, a video question yet, but uh, let's see if I can get this to work right, and it's going to. Uh, this is Todd Johnson, the gentleman that we spoke of earlier. And here, notice his shirt is backwards. I don't know if he's talking into a mirror or what. But we'll answer it backwards. Okay, uh, that I would love to hear. So here we go. Robin, thanks so much for coming out to View the Truth. My name is Todd Johnson from Global Launch Marketing. My question, my question to you is, how do I get users or rather customers to leave video testimonials for my clients? What's the easiest way to do it? How do you send them? And uh, you know, how can we link back to them or do that? Okay. So hopefully you can answer that for me. I really appreciate it. Again, it's Todd Johnson, LocalLaunchMarketing.com. Thanks. Who wants that? Can, Robin, can you repeat that for everybody? Because the audio wasn't very loud, so not everybody yeah. could hear what his question was. Okay. He wanted. How do you? Todd get wanted to. What, go, you want to repeat it, Eric? Was well, how do you get customers to leave video testimonials for for his clients? Correct. What's the What's the best way to incentivize uh, folks to uh, patrons to leave uh, or to do a video testimonial for uh, your business? Bribe them. <laughs> yeah, run a contest. Honestly, seriously, I mean yeah. that's what it is. I think, is, the, proper, is I think the proper term is ethical bribe. Yes. I think that's the one that we well, use. Why are you going to get off PC? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you have to give. You know, like say, well, you said the bribe and incent is really sort of the same thing. Um, yeah, so it it really comes down to it. And I'm a, I'm going to have to make some assumptions on this because I'm assuming he means he's talking about. How do I get them to leave video testimonials like maybe on their Facebook fan page? 
Um, it, because you really can't, they really can't go post testimonials to their YouTube account because only people who can log into the YouTube account can post testimonials. Have right? access to them, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming my assumption would be that he's talking about leaving testimony, and you can, they can't leave video testimonials on a Google Places page or anywhere else. So they would have to be mainly leaving them um, on the Facebook fan pages. So that's my assumption. Here is what they're doing now. It would be to have a contest. It would be to um, you know, to offer them something in exchange for that video testimonial to incent them to do that. So I mean that's really the, the, the quickest and easiest way. The, the other thing to do is um, you know, have them come in at a certain time and be there with your camera and video them at the, at the, the client's office giving the testimonial. You know, right. that, that's another way of doing that and we found that to be typically much more effective in the fact that you know, getting people to actually get their camera, shoot a video and send it in it, it's. I mean, it's. You, you can get it done, but it's much easier to go to the client's location, have, schedule a time for them to come in and shoot them all at one time, and then you can distribute them over time. Is what we have found to be the best utilization of testimonials. That way, because I mean, when you have them leave them, sometimes the quality isn't good, and there's something you know they they, they don't, it's it just you have a, there's a lot more left open to chance whenever you're having them send them in than there is whenever you have them come in. And speak from their heart and do it with a, you know, in a professional manner, right? And, and, and if you, depending on the type of business it is, uh, you could take if you have a camera at your office. Uh, let's say it's a, a chiropractor, doctor, dentist, um, or uh, any type of service type of business. You could film people when they come into your office. Have your own camera there. Uh, any type of hundred dollar camera with a camera stand. You could film people when they're in your office. Uh, you can still run a contest and incentivize people that way, uh, but film them there. You actually filming them is way uh, easier than hoping someone sends it into you. Jody's right with that. And, and goes goes back to the the quality of the video. I mean, the video testimonials are very powerful, uh, and you you want it to look as clean clean as possible. So. Trust, trust that they're going to do it on their own, and it's going to come across uh, uh, great. Or you do it uh, knowing that it will come out exactly how you want it, right? Right. And, and, it, and to that point, I mean, yeah, we've had people that uh, we've had send us testimonials who are that who know how to do who who actually um, do things in you know combine in, combi in combination like with Traffic Geyser. And sometimes even that, they, the, the the videos that they that they would send us are you know that's like they turn the camera on, they walk to the front of it, they were, they say what they're going to say, then they walk back to the camera, and the camera's looking up their face, you know, it's looking up their nose as they turn the camera How off. How big is your head? <laughs> it's like I mean, even people that, that I mean, it's like really that's what they sent us. I can't. You know, they didn't <laughs> take the time to clip the ends off. So I mean, if you I mean, you may run the chance of if they post it, if they, you get them to post the testimonial. There's no telling what it, how it might begin or end. So the middle might be good, but you run that chance of uh, of getting that that odd shot that you just really don't want representing you. Do it your do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's the, so that's, Todd, that's the, that's the best way to do it. Right, Todd. I hope that answered uh, your question. Uh, I think it probably did. Let's see. Whoa, got all of them at once now. Is it true uh, my website would rank higher if I add Facebook and Twitter to it? So I would assume, uh, and the, the gal's name is Jennifer. Uh, I would assume that she's speaking of having uh, the Facebook and Twitter icons or links uh, directly on her homepage. Uh, maybe she's using the website builder, or she got her own website. But does the uh, does having Facebook and Twitter linked to that site help with the ranking with the search engines? It, the answer is yes, because the Google does not only give you credit for links pointing to your website; they also incent you and give you credit for having quality links leaving your website as well. Um, how much does it? You know, is it going to all of a sudden take you from the tenth page to the first page? Probably not, but it overall will be more beneficial and help and improve the ranking because you always want to be able to reference um, high-ranking third-party sites inside of your whenever you make posts, if you do blog posts, if you do things like that. It, it, they, they see it favorable because if everything is just pointing to your website and internally pointing inside your website, they look at it as being very self-serving. Whenever you're sharing the quote-unquote link love and pointing out to other sites, they tend right. to see that as favorable. Very good. Uh, 
let's see. What is the best way to gain Twitter followers and Facebook friends or likes uh, for my fan page? And um, that that one didn't they didn't leave their name. So whoever you are, sorry about that, but I will have your answer or your question answered. Okay, random person. Uh, the best go. way is to participate in the communities. So uh, the best way to gain followers is to follow people, talk to people, uh, Facebook friends, and likes your fan page is to like other people's fan page. Participate, put up content, put up valuable content, um, make sure it's good, and make sure it's regular. Uh, a lot of times people will post once, make sure the post once in a while, uh, and they will make their posts terrible. They won't be non, not relevant. They will make it, uh, people won't, not interesting. Make sure it's interesting, it's relevant, make sure that it's commented on uh, make sure that people yeah make sure me, people are commenting and make sure you comment on other people's uh, posts as well and, and show, that's their, the, show their love as well show your love to them as well right love them too love them too uh, I was gonna touch on something else with this um, I think uh, I've on that like 10 times today what's that we ranted on that about five times today. The the Facebook so it's so frequent that um, people they go on Facebook and uh, don't realize that uh, when you just post on put posts on Facebook that unless uh, people are commenting on your posts that the only people that see your posts are people that go to your page unless that post hits the news feed. So unless your posts are being commented on, that it's not hitting that news feed. So you got to make sure your posts are interesting enough that people are commenting on them right. so make sure that your posts are valuable enough that people want to comment on your posts okay and I do remember what I was gonna uh, what I was gonna uh, bring up uh, Jody you, you brought up the uh, point of joining communities uh, we've got I, I believe two uh, forums with traffic geyser uh, and then we've got the mojo forum as well that's exactly what you're what you're talking about joining communities these are forums like that where uh, everybody shares within uh, within that community. And I, I like your page, you like my page, I follow you, you follow me, and it's just a uh, a domino effect with everybody that's within the, that's inside of that community. That's what you meant, right? I think Eric said that, but yeah, that's that's what he meant. Oh, I thought that was you. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I, I believe yeah. that's what Eric meant. Yes. I believe so too. I believe if you believe it, I believe it. Um, <laughs> and, and and the other thing is, I mean, and the thing is, is that I mean, people are like, well, I want to hurry up and get thousands of followers, or thousands of likes. Well, the thing is, is the only ones that matter are the ones that respond, They're the ones right. that interact with you. I know um, we in doing some of this, uh, doing the the presentation actually yesterday um, with Paul on the instant cut and on Cross Channel Mojo and instant customer. He did a study where you know he he sent stuff out between. Facebook between Twitter, Facebook, and then like his his own mailing list, and you know it it shows that you you can have thousands of people that follow you on Twitter, but the interaction is of those who actually pay attention to you. Um, you can go out and for five dollars buy a thousand likes for your fan page, but if they're not interacting with the page and looking at what you have to say, then it does you absolutely no good. Um, sure. Building you know, building up a, a the social media only is only as valuable as the people that you interact with, and moving them from social media over to your over to your, the over to your site so that they can get information about you and your business. So right. that's I mean that's the other thing. So I guess that leads right into the next question. It does, and you know what? Uh, my computer just died on me. Uh, do you see the next question up there? Yeah, it says I'm new to the, I'm new to marketing. And not sure how the social media how the social media channel would help with my boutique, um, and I'm assuming with my social media channel they're they're meaning social media in general. Um, but there, there, I, have, I have several ideas on that. But Eric, you want to talk first? You want me to? Go ahead. All right. So, oh. it, it, and I'm a, I'm assuming that I'm going to make some assumptions here again. And this, you know, whenever whenever you pose questions, a lot of times you need to think about giving the people that you're asking the question to enough information to be able to give you a good answer. Um, exactly. I'm I'm going to assume that this boutique is. I'm going to assume that it's a dress boutique, since that's something that I have a very well, I have a very in-depth knowledge of dress boutiques. So <laughs> I'm going to go quite frequently. Matter of fact, if you saw him in drag, you guys would. Uh, it wouldn't even be surprising. Yeah, the hardest thing is finding the high heels in a size 13 men's, but other than that, it's all good. Um, 
it, the, if I was to look at how am I going to use social media to help me with my, and it says help with my boutique, I'm assuming it's helping with the marketing of the boutique. So it would be in, if you're in a, if your boutique services a geogra, as you know, usually most boutiques, people um, come to see you that are within a short driving distance typically. Most of the time people, unless it's a really outrageous, everyone knows about it, um, boutique that people will drive from hundreds of miles away for, typically it's usually within about a 10 mile radius is usually where you're, the most the majority of your customers come from. So um, having information, you know, having social media channels, having information on Facebook, having um, videos to share with people what type of uh, merchandise that you have in your boutique and also helping them understand things. Uh, for instance, um, as I said, I met my wife at, one, at a live event. She owns a, a marketing, a local marketing company and one of her clients happens to be a high-end consignment boutique and in that when we went to do the videos they were like well what do we do? I'm like well let's go through and look at what types of things do you offer because most people probably just think you do dresses but they have handbags, they have shoes and belts and jewelry and other people want to know how do I you know, how do I go about this high-end consignment business? So how do I get, how do I bring in my, if I have a Vera Wang dress or a Gucci dress, how do I, what do I, what steps do I go through to bring it in and consign that at your shop? So there's a number of things we could do with that. Then also, once you have a fan page, uh, have something in there, you can actually run ads on social media sites to target people who would utilize that, their, you utilize the, the whatever you sell at the boutique. So if it's a high-end dress shop and you target women between the ages, if you know the demographics, let's say between the ages of 35 and 50, in that 10 mile radius, you're putting your information specifically in front of people who are, would be who would be your customer, and you send them then to your fan page. The more they like that, the more you're able to interact with them. The more information you share, the more likely they are to be to come to your store and become a client. There, there. That's there what I go. know about dress boutiques. Well, besides that, <laughs> and and I'm sure he won't mention everything else that he knows about him. Right. Hey. Uh, so, Robin, do you want me to read out the next questions that you had on the you next slide? Uh, yes, if you could. I don't. Okay. I apologize, folks. My computer is not cooperating no, that, with me. That's okay. Um, it looks like this comes from K M. Is do you that recall what the Ke name? That was? would be Kev Kevin Morris. Okay. Um, he asked, "I plan on going full time with my marketing business. What action steps would you take to start making a minimum of five K monthly within a two month period?" I, I normally would jump in on this, but this is a, this is such a Jody question. Do you want to grab this? Yeah. Or do you want me to just, go ahead. Yeah, it seems like that seems like I answer that question more than just this about all anything. you do is this That's question all, do. all day, all day long. I answer this question. Um, yes, when it comes to a local marketing company, you need three things. Those three things are, and it really comes down to basically this simple: you need lead targeted leads. You need an offer, and you need fulfillment of that offer. The first steps that you need to do is you need to determine what your offer is, what are the services that you're offering, and understand exactly how you will go about doing the fulfillment. And I would say spend a, a maximum of maybe a day in your new business figuring those two things out. From there, you need targeted leads. And the, the, the way to go about finding those targeted leads is to you need to go out and interact with businesses and meet them where they are. The thing about when it comes to online marketing is we know about it, we know how great it is, and we think that everyone you know, should be looking for that, but really we need to, we have to go out and almost be an educator of tell, helping businesses understand how they can utilize our the services that we offer in order to increase the exposure of their business and increase their bottom line. So developing your system for keeping your sales funnel full is going to get you to the $5,000 a month faster than focusing on I'm the best video person on the planet. What you need is you need clients. Go out and get the clients and the way you do that is go to your chamber of commerce. You don't have to join it. Go ask them about how you would, they would, you know, what they would do to help you, know, how you would market your business through the chamber. Go to, go to leads groups and talk to people at the leads groups. You don't have to join. You can go visit. Um, go to trade associations whenever they have their meetings. It's in networking. Find if, one of the things that helped Eric and I get to get a jump start on our business 
because most people when they want to start a marketing business they would love to go speak to all the people at the Chamber of Commerce well guess what the Chamber of Commerce gets that request every day and they have to be you know, everybody wants to speak at the Chamber of Commerce and believe me they are they need to be very particular about who they allow to come speak so what Eric and I did was we did we we put on our own event we went and found a place we, we knew someone that had a business that had a, a meeting room that would hold about 25 people and every person we went to every networking event we went to we invited people to come to our overview on social media we put 25 people in the room and at the end of the presentation we didn't sell anything we handed out an evaluation form and on that evaluation form it had two boxes at the bottom they added you know asking for their name and, and what they liked about the value what they liked about the presentation and you know if they had an aha moment and then at the end it was yes I'd like more information about your full program and the other one is no thank you I enjoyed the overview but that's enough for now and from that Two of the, I don't know if anyone that was actually in the room, I think actually one person that was in the room within about a month became a client, but two people that were in the room had organizations themselves who invited us to come speak to their organizations, and one of them actually was a business consultant who took us the next day to meet with his client, who became our first client, um, which was the exotic car dealership, which we closed, and we actually it was two days later, because the first one we went and visited with was a lighting company, from the, other person that, from the other person <laughs> that had us come speak to their group. So speaking, if, you, if the chamber doesn't let you speak, develop your own, get your own, put your own program together and invite people. What it cost us to put that whole program together, Eric? $50 for renting the room? Yeah, that's, I mean, that would, that's what that's what we that's what that was our bucks investment. for renting the room because there was no no yeah. no air conditioning yeah. after the yeah. first hour. But we didn't well, the, know the that. person did, they didn't they didn't know because they're never at the office after six p.m. So we're at five o'clock. We have everybody in there. We get started <laughs> with our presentation. Six o'clock, the air conditioning turns off. By six thirty, people were melting. They were sweaty. <laughs> But they weren't leaving. They stayed with us, and we didn't stop. And we were. Jody we, and I we, had we, this we, great idea. We were. Yeah, suits. we black we were suits. Black suits. That was our. <laughs> it was our first. That was our first uh, go at. Uh, what, what kind of? Who are we going to be? What's our thing? Black yeah. suit guys. That yeah. was the end of that game. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we, we, the funny thing is, when we wore the suits, people treated us like we needed business. When we started wearing like. I were started wearing cowboy shirts and club shirts and jeans and cowboy boots. They treated us like, wow, these guys are these guys are so good they can dress however they want to. <laughs> and they treated us and they started I mean, they actually treated us better when we were wearing comfortable clothes than they did when we were wearing suits. So um, that would be in order to get to that level, I know we're kind of making fun of it a little bit, but in order to get to that level, it comes down to getting in front, identifying what your offer is, knowing how you're going to fulfill that, and then going and getting in front of business owners and and not 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 selling them, sharing information with them that they can find helpful, and then inviting them to you know, do that, or setting, you know, finding strategic alliances, people that are have complementary businesses that don't compete with what you do, but complement it, like promotional products companies or business coaches and consultants, um, you know, that type of thing will will get you, will propel you faster than just about anything else. That's great. Very good. So, Kevin, there's there's your your answer to that. And then there's one more. Is it uh, is it from L L E? Yes. Okay. I, I actually uh, printed this one out. Uh, this is from Lisa Ingalls, and I believe uh, Lisa is on the call today. So hello, Lisa. Uh, Lisa's uh, question we know Lisa. was Lisa's Lisa. question was about the length of one of her cases that she opens with me on a daily, nah, not daily, a weekly basis. But the good thing about her, her cases, as well as her question, is exactly what you just mentioned a, a couple minutes ago, Jody, is given as much information as possible to be able to answer the question uh, uh, thoroughly. So Lisa's question is, uh, how do you charge a client when you're combining a variety of services? I'm creating a 10 by 10 by 4 video campaign for a client as well as using a couple instant customer campaigns. In addition, I'm helping her uh, launch a program or helping her with a program launch. Right now, we have set up where I get a flat fee of 1500 a month plus bonuses for leads and then 10% of all sales made on her program. And she says how much she, uh, the gal's Sounds like the she's program. got it covered. 
Yeah. <laughs> we, we've, <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not done yet. <laughs> we've agreed to go with this pay structure to start, but she's open to review it in a month to make adjustments as needed. I'd love your thoughts and advice. Uh, since you originally, uh, since I originally got into this pro uh, to promote my own business and pro uh, launch my own program, never expected to be contracting for someone else. Thanks, Lisa. Well, we would, uh, Joe. You could jump in, but we would have probably started out slightly different because it it sounds like you're a little far along when you because initially to go in with plan A and trying to restructure the deal once you're this far down the road. Let's start from how would we start off, how, if the question would be initially how to charge a client, going in, going in at the beginning with a blank pad of paper, finding out and diagnosing an issue, like maybe like a doctor would diagnose a situation by asking a series of questions instead of coming in with a menu item of services and, 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 and line item pricing. Um, may be a, a good way to go and do it. Um, but how to, how to charge a client afterwards, or is the question how to charge this particular client? Well, it said, it, the question opens mm -hmm. up, how do you charge a client when you're combining a, vi a variety of services? That's the only way we charge a client. Cause, yeah, there because <laughs> that this other way is, is not the best way to do it. What happens is, if you have a com combination of services, the best way to charge a client is go in, Diag start at the beginning, ask questions, find out what the client needs to take, what needs to happen, and make your recommendation. You can't go in and start line iteming things going, okay, well, we're going to do your Twitter, and that's going to be X dollars. <laughs> then we're going to do your Facebook, and that's going to be this dollars. Then we're going to do some videos, and that's going to be XX a video. What happens then is they're going to start going, uh, how much is it? Well, maybe we need less videos, and divide that by X Facebooks, because what you need to ultimately do is figure out what where they need to be and then how much it's going to take for you to get there and then give them a price if you start dividing by x they're it's not they're not going to get the results that you wanted because you made a diagnosis to figure out what it would take to get them there kind of like if you went to a doctor's office and they said okay I, this is what the problem is well how what do i need to get fixed we need to do this and this is what it would charge if they start line iteming you don't go okay i need surgery well, let's let's get rid of some anesthesia. How much is anesthesia? <laughs> let's divide that by two. I need only need fourteen band aids. No, no. Let's 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 get rid of a couple stitches. And it's exactly the same thing. And and so you pick up, you find out what the price is. You find out where they they need to be, and that's the charge you give them. And it doesn't matter where, which services particularly it is. You can't start line iteming, and you give them your exact recommendations after you ask them the questions and find out where they need to be. All right. What I, what I tell what I tell people is that if you know if you give them a menu of services, they treat you like a waiter or waitress. And we're not waiters and waitresses. We're marketing strategists, and we come in with the here's is what needs to be. This is what do. This is what you need to have happen in order to get the most result. And that's what we do. I'm sorry to yeah, cut you off, Meredith. Oh no, she was she just typed in that um, they did do a diagnosis first. Um, like you were saying, she just wanted to be sure that the pricing was okay. That this pricing was okay. Well, are you happy with the price? If you're, are you happy with the pricing, and the work amount of work that you're doing? If the answer is yes, then it is. Uh, if you're right. not, then it's no. And, and I don't know the client or the work or what your time is worth. And, and it's a personal issue for for you and your client. Yeah, we really are not in a position to give advice on what you should charge. I don't even think we're allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's great. Thank and, you. And, and to be candid, there's some people out there that would that you and I believe you started with fifteen hundred dollars and there'll be people on this call who would go fifteen hundred bucks. Are you going you'd work for that? And there's some people on this call who goes, Fifteen hundred bucks, give me that account. I'll take that right now. All day so, all day long. And so all day long. You know, it, it and it's there's a whole wide variety and so it, it's hard to say because there's people who absolutely love that. Yeah. So so like so so pretty much what you pretty pretty much what you're saying is keep it uh, keep it basic as far as what you what you're going to uh, propose to your client. There's feedback there, Robin. <laughs> you're echoing. I'm no back. <laughs> 
it sounds like you guys understood the question and she liked it. She okay. she she appreciated the answer, so that's great. Um, she did have one other question. This one kind of goes back to what we were talking about before, um, and this is something we get a lot. But um, what's the best way to find keywords? Um, she said she's been using Google Keyword Tool, but she's not having much success. Is there anything when you're you know trying to distribute your videos? Is there something that a tool or something that you recommend in regards to helping to find really good keywords for local business or for what? Ooh, she did not specify. I, would, I, I believe she she does what local. Yeah. Like a program that you use that would help find. Yeah, we use this program. About Market Samurai, or, or or should we not say something like that? <laughs> I think it's too late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, that, the other thing, I mean, you, and, and to be honest, um, for local marketing, the, what we use is um, you look at what is the industry and what do, you know, what the, and what is the you know, what is the business and what what is the industry and what is the city or location that yeah. they're looking to be found for. It really comes down to as simple as well, that. And then, what I like is I like fireman. I like Mike Lemoyne. Um, I like his. He said that. When, what he does and what he has gotten the best results with, and we've actually done this, and it actually works out very well, is asking the first ten people you come up to if they were, let's say, if it's a chiropractor. If you were looking for a chiropractor in West Palm Beach, what would you type into Google? <laughs> and that oh, actually got a chiropractor in West Palm Beach. Absolutely, that that's right. that it would be an answer that we'd probably give in support as well. I mean, you know, right. what what are you what are you entering when you're looking right. for it? And, you know, right. can I be Again, seriously, that is a that's what we would do. I, I don't use I, I don't even think I have programs on my computer that I use for that. I, I would just type yeah. in chiropractor West Palm Beach. That would be the keywords I would probably use, not to be whatever. I and mean, if it was really fancy, I, mean, I would if you had someone else. Chiropractor West Palm Beach back pain, back pain relief, you know, neck pain. I mean, those are you know, obviously there's just things like that. Things that you know you look at now going and seeing those. I guarantee you though that we're using a, like the Google tool. The Google Keyword Tool, they might not be enough searches to even register, but I can guarantee you that the videos that we post out there with that in the title, for some reason, they have hundreds of views on them. But So Google can't be completely right that no one's looking for it. Gotcha. It's us trying to find the words, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks like um, everything we have right now. So cool. looks like we can wrap it up. There, no, other no other questions? <laughs> I'm sorry. Today has just been a nightmare. I apologize no. to you guys. It's never okay. been like this. That's that's what happens when we show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we absolutely appreciate having you on here. It was great. You gave a a lot of um, great feedback for our customers, and and you know, getting each of your point of views as well is great. You know, I mean, you seem to be on the same page, but you know, you each have a little bit to add, so that's fabulous. Sure. We're on the same page, and we're not even in the same state. How about that? <laughs> exactly, right? That's amazing when that happens. Yeah. Surprise how little bit we have to add. So people ask us when they see us on the stage, and they're like, wow, whenever you guys do, when you do webcasts, it's like you don't really talk over each other when you're on stage. Do you practice that a lot? And they're like, what, talking to each other? Yeah, we do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Yep. So, uh, do you want to say your thank yous there, Robin? Uh, <laughs> Show you your see my screen now or no? No, no, it's still no. down. Okay. So. Uh, anyways, I just uh, had my next slide was just to thank you guys. Uh, thanks uh, for what we call giving back. You guys have uh, uh, been at every one of our events. Uh, you go on stage. You uh, you give back to our our community of of customers and. As always, uh, I appreciate it. Meredith appreciates it. Mm -hmm. Traffic Geyser appreciates it. Uh, as always, uh, you guys are, uh, are a great couple guys. Uh, appreciate you ha uh, being on the call with us today. And again, I apologize that uh, it's uh, a couple technical, technical difficulties. Yeah, difficult. yeah it's okay. It's just, it's, just, it's just us. It's not like it was Mike Lemoyne. <laughs> 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 I'm never gonna live this one down. Nope, you're not. <laughs> uh, okay, Meredith, you want to? Uh, actually, you know what, you guys, if you want, real briefly, you guys uh, wrote a couple of the uh, uh, the follow up campaigns in in uh, Cross Channel Mojo, right? Yes. You want to talk real briefly? Meredith's gonna uh, 
she's going to be the one that has to talk about the other uh, products and services that we have. But can you guys just within a 30 second spot uh, uh, tell everybody what Cross Channel Mojo is? Sure. Uh, Cross Channel Mojo is really a, a turnkey solution to having a, 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 a follow up system on steroids where it, it basically allow, it gives you everything you need to walk through and you know, utilize a system that has seven ways of capturing it, capturing leads and seven ways of responding back to people in, a, in an automated manner that does everything from from text messaging, voicemail drops to automated you know, automated webcast and webinars. And what Cross Channel Mojo really does is is walks you through not only this is a system, but it gives you the step by step details of of not only templates but also strategies to utilize in order to help people build their businesses and it gives you an, 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 uh, an entirely new marketing arm to your business. And it's a that. great group, of, it's a great community. In, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was, that's been the bonus of when we opened it up and yeah, when we uh, with, to begin with it was like yeah, we monitored comments and it's like, it's like just open it up let everyone say what they want to and people have really bonded together, they, they exchange great information um, there are people helping one another. There are people partnering on different things, and just the the camaraderie inside of the inside of the the um, the, com the community that's, that's evolved from that is absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, we learn stuff from the community every day that that you know we wouldn't even have thought about because a lot of the best things that we that we learn are from the people that um, that are actually in there sharing what their experiences are. Yeah, it's really that's, unbelievable. That's, that's one of the things I was going to mention too before is. Um, you know, I think you, you can't really put a price tag on that, the the community that's in the cross-channel mojo. You know, when you start getting people that are with in the same situation you are in and they're doing the same things you're doing and you're giving each other feedback, you just can't put a price tag on that. You know, you it's, you know, going out and hiring a consultant to consult you on your business would cost you money and you're getting that for free. You know, just having that yep. little community in there is great. You know, Absolutely. so... So that's and a good she thing. is she is working her tail off to try and get the, to be the Robin and this show. I swear, <laughs> Jeez. she takes she sees it, she sees an opening and she takes advantage of it. I'm just trying to <laughs> add. I'm trying to you know help yeah. out a little. <laughs> uh, did you did you happen to put the cross channel link in? Uh, I sure in did. It is. I see it. I, I sure see did. it. You rock. Uh, I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, Meredith, you want to uh, uh, say your thanks and uh, and then go on with uh, Instant Customer and Fusion? Oh, sure. Well, thank you guys for being here. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Um, definitely stop by the office when you're in town. That would be great. All right. um, uh, and, we'll, and we'll definitely see you uh, in a month and a half or so at the... Uh, Mojo event. Yes, you will. For sure. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care, guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, Thank you know you what? So I mentioned. I forgot to mention. I was bummed because I found a picture of Eric without his hat. And that's <laughs> the picture that I had on the slide for the special thing. Oh, <laughs> oh darn! Let me see if I can get that in there. No, I don't think Eric I can. Is, no. <laughs> I didn't right, know guys, that. Thanks. I didn't know that had leaked out. No. We'll just have to. We'll have to put that on the big screen at the live event or something. <laughs> you, you know, go. for everyone. All right, guys. Thank you very All much. Right. I appreciate it. See you. Thanks, okay. guys. Bye. Bye. And you could move on to your next uh, venture, whatever that may be. So Instant Customer is, is the follow-up system that uh, uh, it's – well, we're going we're, we're gonna to sit here and say it's the best because we honestly do believe that it is uh, with all the different channels that you can reach out uh, to folks with. So that's my piece on Instant Customer. <laughs> Absolutely, and then we have um, Main Street Marketing Fusion. Do you want? To, I'll put the link up. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Robin? Fusion is my baby. Uh, <laughs> no, Fusion. For for those of you that are on the call that are uh, marketing consultants, uh, uh, you know what tools Fusion has in it. Uh, those of you that are Trafficizer members or uh, uh, looking to uh, possibly start uh, with a subscription with us, uh, Fusion has every tool that you can imagine. Uh, Meredith mentioned at the beginning of the call about the biz box with uh, uh, that Jody and Eric were talking about all of the extras that, that they didn't have the special button for. Uh, you've got pre-written uh, contracts. You've got pre-written white papers for 50 plus, I think it is, uh, different uh, industries. Uh, so you don't have to spend the time writing out. 
uh, or sending to a copyright to have a, a white paper written out for a chiropractor uh, report that you want to add to uh, to a, uh, a campaign. Everything is already there for you. Uh, Influence Engine uh, is in it. Uh, uh, instant Customer is included in Infusion, uh, where it's not in Trafficizer. So there's mm -hmm. just so many additional benefits to Instant Customer. Whether you're a marketer, uh, marketing consultant, or you're just getting Trafficizer for your business alone, uh, don't not look at Fusion because of the fact that you're not a consultant or uh, you're not working with other companies. Lisa Ingle's a perfect example. Uh, Lisa uh, started with Trafficizer because of the fact that she wanted to uh, promote her program. Uh, and she has now since found out that she is going to that she's already uh, promoting or uh, consulting for other folks, and uh, she's doing business outside of what she started out to do. So uh, Fusion is uh, it's a it's a great tool. Uh, it's a great service. It's got everything that you can imagine, uh, most everything that you would need to make uh, a company successful. Uh, not just one company, but many companies. So. Absolutely. That's my piece. And then did you want to discuss what we're going to be covering next week? Next week we are going to be talking about, and this is one of the things that Todd Johnson, our shout out uh, performer of the day, uh, uh, the 10 by 10 by 4 uh, market domination formula uh, that Mike developed years ago. Uh, to this day it's still working. Uh, we get folks every day. Uh, I think Bill for uh, and I apologize, Bill, I'll probably butcher your last name if you're on the call, but I think it's Frappanetti. Uh, uh, Bill uh, sent in a couple of tickets in regards to uh, the 10 by 10, uh, as well as the number, but we get questions all day long uh, about the 10 by 10 by 4. So next week is going to be uh, entirely about that. I uh, just don't think we're going to have a, a guest speaker next week. So it's just, uh, it's going to be how does the 10 by 10 uh, work for you? Uh, how can you make it work for your business and, and gain the exposure that, uh, that you're looking for. So that is what our call will be on next week. Great. Well, looks like we're done here. No, no other questions? Lisa no. was the only one that had a question? Yeah, but it looks like we answered that and she, it helped her out. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, Merritt, I appreciate it. Thank you. I apologize to you guys uh, for my computer issues and my technical <laughs> promise it won't happen again and I'll get and I'll get the audio issue taken care of too I apologize for that as well so this week was just a disaster although we did give some good information yes thank you to Jody and Eric for being on here that was fabulous yes it was fabulous <laughs> okay thanks Mary appreciate it everybody thank you for being here uh, and we will see you next week and I think we're out we're out